It's a beautiful Saturday, April 16. Welcome. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. It's always good to do, to do this review with you. Blessings from the Victor Calvary 2. Yeah. And um, our Bible reading today is drawn from Galatians chapter 3. Mm. That's important. Let's go around to it and then we discuss and run. That's Christ right. had redeemed us from the cause of the law, being made a Thank cause for God. us. What for it is written, causes every one that hanged on a tree, mm. that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, mm. that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Praise God. So how does that be passing? <laughs> Well, it speaks about the redemption of anyone who is cost of the law. And it speaks about the blessing of Abraham, which of course um, is available to the world as long as you do that connection in Christ. So, and that's what comes to me. And of course, from today's devotional, we see uh, the, the definition of a curse and a blessing, you know, that, that he tried to put our attention to. And in that verse, that singular verse, talks about how there is the redemption, the deliverance from the curse. And not just leaving you in suspense, it takes you from curse, away from curse into blessing mm -hmm. and tells that it's the blessing of abraham so when you know what the blessing of abraham is you understand what you have access very true. to mm. very true, very true. you know what you have access Fantastic. to oh and then um the, the scripture here mm. which reads um, genesis 27 28 to 29 therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven mm. and the fatness of the earth and yeah. plenty of corn and wine. Mm. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons yeah. bow down to thee. Cause be everyone that cursed thee yeah. and blessed is everyone that blessed thee. Amen. You know how beautiful that is. Yes, even yeah. his blessings to believers. So mm. it cannot be caused. Yeah. So how do you want to summarize this? Well, that was Jacob's blessing. And, you know, it, it um, shows that when we speak of blessing, you have extra help. Uh, you know, much more than just what you are able to do or what is available to you by your own power. Okay. Yeah. So what you just read, Genesis 27, is actually the blessing that Jacob received. And then, you know, we also see today, you know, also from the bible text that you read in galatians chapter 3 that you know god actually um ensures that we the uh, deliverance from causes orchestrated by him and that certainly means that he's not the one that is doing the 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 cursing so yes we need to know that god does not wish hunt anyone with a curse and um that itself is a blessing yeah, yeah, because that means he wants you if there's anything going I mean if he curses, then it is because you've also gone against mm -hmm. his word, gone against the law of God. Mm -hmm. And that itself is a blessing as far as I'm concerned, because then there's a warning for you to know. And then yeah. the second part is where it talks about the fact that the Lord himself reveals the reason for a curse, which could be disobedience, yes, yes a divine yeah. law and yeah. all of yeah. that, yes. which as far as I'm concerned, it's also a blessing number two. So you have clarity on what you need to adjust, the things you need to change, the things you need to give attention to, and all of that. So for me, I see, you know, two blessings right there. Yes, yes. I see two blessings right there, you know, for anyone who believes mm. in God and is on the side of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. This is so beautiful. And the um, action point says, if you want to be blessed come to jesus by faith today mm. like mm. come right away exactly like come ASAP. because that is where the blessing is wow, that, that is, is where the beautiful, blessing beautiful, is beautiful 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 and then finally i'm in rivers is drawn from determining 11 verse 26 mm. and it reads that behold i said before you this day a blessing and a cause mm. you know if you read for that and we say choose make a choice decide. yeah I pray that we make good choices in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. So Amen. Jesus, can you pray for us? Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to say thank you for all that you gave to us at Calvary. 
Thank you for the blessings that come to us. Thank you for the opportunity to receive warnings from you when we want to be, you know, derail or go out of line. Thank you, Father, for the redemption from curses. And not only that, but for how we have access to the blessing of Abraham by what Jesus did on the cross. We say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we pray, oh God, that you will help us to be on your side always in the name of Jesus. Amen. Is there anyone listening or watching us at this moment who has not yet completely surrendered his or her life to you? We ask, oh God, that you draw them unto yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speak your word into their hearts and let them come over to the side of blessing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for answered you, prayers. Jesus. For we've prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for You're welcome. Thank you so much.